for my purpose, uh, I was using Loop as a tool that I could um, leverage when I'm doing internal training. So, you know, all of my attendees are in the tenant. They're going to have access to these files. And so it would be all good and well to have a traditional Word document on the screen with the agenda of all of the items that I wanted to go through and keep alt tab, alt tab, back and forth. But at the end of the day, I could make them dizzy and I would probably just lose my place. I needed something that would give me that checklist uh, style document that I could go through to make sure that I was staying on my, my talk track. I was covering the important points, but I also wanted a tool that users could follow along to see where we were building to. And so what you're seeing is the the actual training agenda that I that I use when I'm doing the internal training for this solution we have called Customer Success Portal. And I create the loop once, and I build out all of the content using the, uh, the loop checklist component, and then edit it in OneDrive. And then as I'm preparing for the, the other sessions, I can reuse it as a, as a template. And so this is, you know, what it looks like. It's it's nothing fancy, but it gave me the ability as I'm presenting, and I'm a, I'm a single screen user. And so what you can see is the experience that I had when I was doing the training session. Uh, you will notice that uh, I have the application that I'm sharing. And again, I don't wanna keep alt tabbing between agendas or, or other notes. Uh, I can also monitor the chat window, and you can also see that I've shared the template in the meeting chat as part of the, the files option inside of the meeting. And then off the screen, I have the, the loop document or whatever it's called uh, opened up in my, my OneDrive, and I'm going through. And if I hit a spot, I will check. I'll hit another spot, I'll check. And so I'm on track, and I'm not overwhelming people with alt tabbing and kind of a substandard experience. I'm able to monitor the, the chat window. And so I've really optimized the real estate and my experience when I'm presenting. Uh, I find it's, it's a great way also for users to follow along, like I said before. So that was the experience. It is something that I repurpose and reuse. And so how would you do that? Uh, you can go into the chat window and just start creating your, your agenda, but it's not the same experience. Like the, the chat window is so narrow, it comes in as a link. So it's, it's, better, uh, it's a better experience for me and for the users if I drop it into the file sections, let them upload it and, and uh, follow along in their own windows. So how did I create this template? Well, you know, you can do it in the, the chat window. We can do it all here, but they're stored inside of your OneDrive if you're creating them through the chat. So I simply went into OneDrive, went into my files, located the team chats file, found my original source uh, loop document, and then simply copied it to make a new copy. And then when my meeting was about to start, connected into the files, and then upload and shared it out. And so the experience was my users come in, they're focused on the content that I'm training, right? Like this screen, they're given the loop component and I'm able to follow along. So it's just a segregation of content. And if they want to follow along, they can. Otherwise, they're just listening to me and hopefully taking things in. So loop honestly has low adoption inside of our tenant. It's something that um, hasn't been picked up on yet. They don't necessarily understand that it's available or that the what the positioning of it should be. But that's all good and well. I'm able to take this as a template that helps me, helps them. But in the future state, my hope is that they can come into this original document for subsequent training sessions and don't make this loop document about me. Make it about us and to have that real time collaboration. Let them put in their notes. You can't see it, but on the bottom, there's a, a Q and A section. 
So it would be a great situation, one that I need to 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 advocate for the next time we, I do training is to start typing in your questions or adding your own notes or adding screenshots or something that can take this from a simple agenda to transform it into something more meaningful and informational. So that's one of my first experiences with Loop. Um, I, I do believe that it is going to be transformative for collaboration, but there are a lot of unknowns for me at this point. And I, I do think that it is uh, um, good to use for safe scenarios. This training agenda, this is not going to be a core data store or, or official record source. So using it in this, this temporary state where you use it, dispose of it, but there's still value there, repurpose it. So that's my experience, and I hope that uh, it validates some of your own findings, and I'm happy to learn more about how you're using Loop. So thank you.